Hey, this is Kirk with Brother Bees Bees. In today's video, we're going to look at how my cousin and I went to the farm of a beekeeper who got out of the business years ago. He had lots of old rotting equipment. While we were there, uh, we discovered some of his hives. A, a, a beekeeper had gone through and gotten uh, some of the queens out and so forth, but there were some straggler foraging bees, several hundred that had been left a uh, inside the hives because he had, uh, the beekeeper had to come in the middle of the day, I think because of his schedule. And so ha had a bunch of forager bees left behind. And so I went into one of those hives. I was able to get a bunch of those forager bees into a box and I'm going to show you what I did with them. And so I call this the Orphan Hive, or the Orphan Colony video. Thanks for watching Brother Bees Bees, and you have a great day. Okay, there were some abandoned hives back here. My older beekeeper has gotten to where he couldn't take care of them, and so they've been back here for years. Somebody came and got most of them, but there's still a bunch inside this cavity. So what I'm going to try to do is go in there. I don't know if they went in here and got the queen and these are foragers. There could be a queen in here. I'm going to see if I can't get them out. Even if there's no queen, I'll try to get all those forager bees in a box and I'll do a newspaper ad to join them to one of mine. But we're going to see if we can't save these. All right, gang. I don't know what that is. I think that's hive moth larva. Somebody more experienced than I is going to have to give us the final answer. But I'm going to try to get these bees out, see if there's any way to save them, see if I can find a queen. All right, we're going to try to get these out and into this box. You see there's several bees up in here. But the entrance collapsed. So they, they couldn't get out through the entrance. I'm not sure where they were getting in and out. There, of course, it's rotted in several places. See, there's nectar in that combed out portion of this frame. We're going to see if there's a queen in here who's laying. I'll need to keep these in a box by themselves because I don't know what they've got. What I'm going to do is try to find the queen. I'm going to get them off in this box. I'm going to make sure none of these get mixed with my colonies. I'll put them off by themselves. If I can either find a queen or find some eggs and a day or two old larva. This is the next box. I don't know how many layers of these there are in here. I see a drone there. I don't 
packed frames yet. I'm going to take those boxes, you know, I'm going to pull all those boxes apart and see if we can't find the heart of this colony. We've decided that there's just no queen and no brood. They're still trying to work. They're still trying to... I saw where they tried to comb out a couple of frames and add some nectar. But either that queen has died or another beekeeper has come and gone through these and left a bunch of foraging bees. I'm not sure what has happened, but I, I don't think there's a queen in this bunch. I'm a little nervous about mixing them with my bunch. These look like a bunch of forager bees or bees that were just left behind when they came in and pulled a queen. So, but there's still quite a few bees down in here. So I'm going to take them home. I will put a frame of brood that has eggs in it. Uh, I'll take out some of these nasty frames of theirs and put in some combed out stuff. And I will, you know, they, you can see right here, they're, they've got drone in there. So I'm going to put a frame of brood in this box and see if See if these bees won't raise a queen, start a new colony. All right, we've got two or three hundred, probably three hundred abandoned bees inside this box. I'm going to let as many of them as I can get inside go inside. And then I'll uh, put screen mesh here on the front. We're going to take it home introduce again it was just an old abandoned hive but somebody's pulled the queen okay we've gotten the abandoned bees back to the apiary i will come back here in a moment and remove that opening for them okay i got it open There you go, go on up in there. I'm going to put a few sticks right here. Let them get adjusted. I'll put some sticks right there so that when they come out in the morning, it'll force them to adjust a little bit. Okay, I've got some sugar water I'm going to put right here. I'm also going to slide some thin pollen patties just inside. Try to give a little something to eat for them. So they just don't have a lot stored up. So. We'll see. I just don't, I don't know if they'll make it or not, but we're going to give them a fighting chance. Okay, like I usually do when I'm moving a hive and helping them to reorient, I just put some sticks in front of the door to help them out. So hopefully you can see one trying to crawl through now. As they come out, that will hopefully help them to reorient. All right, here is the abandoned colony. I'm going to check on them today and see if we can't get them some eggs and brood to help them start over. Okay, my first attempt to find some eggs 
that I can give to the abandoned colony is going to be in this hive. It is really booming. It's a, a split from one of my other hives over there. Seems like last time I was in here, the queen was laying some in this upper box because I've got that abandoned colony in a medium box. So anyway, I'm going to go in here and look and see if I can find a medium comb with some brood in it and more specifically eggs or day old larvae. Okay, one of the things I observe is this top box is full. This hive is exploding. I'll be lucky if it doesn't swarm. And I just added this box. Okay, this colony is on fire. So they will be swarming soon if I don't make some room. Loaded with nectar. Okay, we have larvae down in there. We got cat brood and larvae. Not sure about eggs. All right, I've got some frames of brood and I went ahead and left some of the nurse bees on it. I have seen beekeepers mix these from two hives. This is a small hive without a queen. I think they will welcome brood. I'm going to see, hopefully they won't fight too much, but it sure would help this, this group to accept a few bees. Let's see what happens. We're going to see if we can't mix these two together and see if we can't make a colony. Okay, you can tell lined up all along the edge here. They are wafting smell through the hive. That's what it looks like it's going on. It's not heat. And these these are adjusting to each other. So I've got remnants of one colony, and then I've got another is way overcrowded so what I've done is I pulled four frames from one colony and I've mixed them together in this box and they actually seem to be doing fine I don't see fighting so we'll see how they do they have quite a bit of nectar I'm also giving them sugar water to help them build comb. But they've also got quite a bit of combed out frame in there. They have some bee bread. Probably not as much as they're going to need, but we have a really, really good pollen flow on right now. So I'll keep an eye on them, but I am going to put some pollen patties in there to help them out all right they have four new frames i'm now going to put a queen excluder on put this box back on and i may put another box on top of that uh, and actually i may put a shallow box because i think this colony if it doesn't swarm may well produce my largest supply of honey this year Okay, I put a queen excluder in there. I have used a queen excluder a little bit. Generally, when I've used a queen excluder, I've been putting it in the bottom, like when I install a package 
or I catch a swarm. I generally do that to keep the queen from leaving. But this year, I'm going to use my queen excluders a little more to keep queens from laying up in the honey boxes. And so that's why I put the queen excluder in here so the queen doesn't go up into this box. I also want to mention, I've just left the sugar feeder up here, but I haven't fed them sugar in quite a while because I'm moving closer to the uh, pulling of honey here in about a month. So I just want to make sure all the honey in this box is real honey. Okay, I put my wedge in. This is what I call my adjustable nuke box. I can make it as big or as small as I want. So I've got eight frames in here and it's bees from two different colonies. They've, they've all meshed together and they're doing well. So we're going to watch and see if they can raise them a queen. Our rescue colony, our orphan colony is off and running. Again, it's half of the colony is orphaned from a colony in Tennessee. And half of this colony is from my hive. I call it the hot hive. So let's see how they do. Checking in this morning on the orphan colony. They seem to be active and doing well. <laughs> 